Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. I totally forgot the Congo drums. Okay, coast clear. All right. So, anyways, that. <laughs> now that we can talk, I wanted to have a little rant, and boy, this is. Oof! I haven't played this for like two years. This is actually a good example, too, of how much your sensibilities will change. This feels really, really sluggish. Ooh, ooh, before I even get to what I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah, I would go low acceleration now. Oh, yeah, and that was... They changed the way smoothing worked. Steam input changed, so that's why I had that maxed out. Get that. Not too much left trigger dampening, okay. Up the sensitivity. Same thing. Oh, get that down. Okay, that feels a little better. But anywho, what I wanted to talk about was... Something I've been fiddling around with lately. That's on the left trigger. So let's go into the left trigger. So I'm going to turn analog off for this. So I'm going to go regular press X, long press down to one notch, left trigger, haptics off, haptics off, for the haptics I'm going to go soft press, empty binding, crank that up a little bit, maybe about there, low haptics, Interruptible off, so this will all this will be my haptic feedback. So alright. Shooting, aim, shoot, fast tap, reload. Now an easy way to tweak this out is like make this jump, just for testing it. So fast tap. Jump. Aim. Jump, jump, like just to figure out what feels good. Let's go back. So I've, I've played around with trying to get soft presses to work. I, I've not been able to crack that, and it has never felt consistent. But doing this feels pretty dang good, and it's... I feel like it's pushing the context of the action more, because you know, you'd be using your left hand... Like uh, my normal, you know, using the left hand anyways, so that fast tap feels pretty good, but I would make it a jump for testing because it's this soft pull point that is going to be the most important part. Like normally I would put that at like two because I wanted to trigger that soft pull immediately, but... When I'm doing this method, I can make this fast pull. So it's like it, it's not kicking it in. So I found that putting the soft pull point, usually for me, it's like either here or even up a little bit. But that's, I'm stressing that because that's really, it's figuring out how you use the triggers, the soft pull point is where it becomes really 
really important for getting the right settings. So fast tap, I'm jumping. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep testing that. It's jumped every single time. Hold, go down sights. So okay, that's definitely my sweet spot. Go back in here. Let's make it X. So regular press, reload, long press. It, it really isn't a long press. That's kind of the beauty of it. <laughs> You're giving it one notch. So it feels you know, pretty dang responsive. And I have actually used this in games where you dual wield as well. And it you don't notice a delay. I'm doing this in Star Citizen where you use left trigger to throw a left-handed punch. It feels fine. I haven't had haven't had problems with it. So it's been feeling really nice. Fast tap reload. Go back to hold. So yeah, I think I I'm feeling and that's kind of this whole thing started was like, boy, this was an old profile and it feels really weird from where I am now from using the controller and getting used to a lot of the things in Steam input. Like I used to put reload on a long press full pull right trigger. But really, it's like that fast tap on the left trigger. Oh, it feels feels really freaking good. And the aim down trigger is kind of a secondary action anyways, so I'm not really noticing input delay. Now, I mean, getting into the nitty gritty, you know, lifting the hood and looking under here, it's like, yes, this, this is introducing input lag. So, you know, if you're trying to be a pro esport, you know, total competitive edge, everything is about you know, gaining the competitive edge, you might not like this. But for me, it's more about the immersion and what feels like it would be the context-sensitive action. Like, yeah, you're using your left hand to reload a gun. So that fast tap <laughs> feels, it feels natural. That's really what I wanted to get across, just as with most things in the Steam... Oh crap, Malaria's kicking it. I forgot. Is that, uh, how do I... This? Yeah, okay. Oh, I freaking love this game. You start it... <laughs> you start failing your entire your the sole reason that you're here you fail it and you get malaria it's it's great i should start playing through this again yeah i thought this would be a good one just to show that oh it feels i'm i'm digging it it's it's a new standard for my profiles i think and even with this one uh left trigger is reverse so let's test that. Okay, so I have the... Yeah, there we go. I have a... Uh... Right trigger is still going to be the analog. Fast tap, is that doing anything? No, it's not doing anything. Because X. Yeah, X does nothing, so. Fast tap. Reverse. Yeah, works fine. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share, you know. Again, not so much a tutorial, just kind of thinking about what would be the best 
what feels the best. Not necessarily what gives you a competitive edge, I guess. Maybe that's what separates me a little bit, which is also why, like, in games that don't support mixed input, I can often make joystick mouse work. Like, I, I can make concessions to whatever feels feels right for the game and adds to my immersion and enjoyment in the game. And this... Ugh, I like it. So, so alright, but I better, I better get out of the sun before my malaria kicks in again. Ugh, get the vapors, need to take a nap. Hi. You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you, too. I'll slide into an oven-fresh bun, and I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy, good hot dog? Mmm, delicious.